The Twin Rivers Unified School District is facing a $3.8 million budget shortfall. This comes even after two consecutive years of budget cuts totaling $17 million. We want to be able to su sustain some of the great programs we have in place sustain some of the great employees that we have in place. District leaders say rising costs to operate and a sharp drop in student enrollment are the reason. The district of nearly 26,000 students lost 465 students just last year and that number is expected to rise. So we're looking for options to relieve us from that deficit and keep our programs and keep our staff intact. Now to close the financial gap, district leaders are proposing closing and consolidating some schools, which could save the district millions of dollars. We spoke with parents of students who attend schools in the district. There has to be other options. Crystal like, Harding's concerned that Twin Rivers hasn't addressed the issue of declining enrollment and is concerned that issue could get worse. For me, this is a Band-Aid. And leaders of the district's teachers union argue that closing schools shouldn't be on the table. They're worried about larger class sizes. I think the district is not acting in the best interest of our students. Now, nothing's been decided yet. This was the first of five planned community meetings to address the issue. The district's board will likely make a decision in the new year. And at the forefront, we just want to ensure that our kids get the best quality education. That's always going to be our focus. And what we have to do to get there, yes, some, some tough decisions will have to be made.